firstly, uh, I, I can only imagine how excited you must be. Of course, injury work was uh, a plague for you for the Big Bash season last year, and you must be absolutely raring to get out there. I am raring to go, considering injury is still a bit of a plague for me right now. But uh, yeah, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. I've been trained for a, for a solid week now, which is a bit of a <laughs> bit of a step up from what I've been doing the last few weeks, but yeah, I'll be right to go come the April or the first uh, That's right, the night, Tuesday or night, five o'clock, we'll see you there at the gap. Um, you talk about the nerves now. I remember actually watching you, I think it was the Hobart game last year, where we got down to the, the, the nail biter, uh, yeah, we got up by three runs, and, and there you were in the, the little walking in and out area, and you walked in and out. I reckon I counted seven times in and over. <laughs> talk me through the nerves as a person like yourself, Skipper. Uh, how do you overcome that and focus on the game? Because I can only imagine how nerve wracking Yeah, but yeah, I paced a bit. I remember that game. I'll probably remember the, the sh I don't know, the heat function, but I remember the shield fall a bit more where, where I, I didn't watch much of the last hour and a half of the game. I sat down in one of the rooms and turned the TV on and off every couple of minutes to see how hearts and mags were going. But um, yeah, you just, you just accept that the two guys in the middle, you're training them the whole off season and, and they'll get the job done. That's the belief the Queensland team has and if the Brisbane Heat get half of that belief, we're going to go a long way towards doing more. You've got a wonderful side behind you, but who do you see as, as uh, say, the biggest potential threat for us in terms of winning the title this year? Uh, yeah, I'd say, I think every year we go down south, we look at the, the Melbourne Stars. Um, Hobart have got a good list together. All the teams are good, as Buff said before, when, when you add a couple of overseas guys into all these teams and, and the names that they've got in those teams, Becomes becomes who performs better on the night. I know that's cliche, but um, in T20 cricket, it's the same in the IPL, and it's going to be the same here now. The standard of the teams, if you turn up and play well, you'll go a long way towards winning because all the teams start winning the match. Uh, we've got the likes of Dale Stone, of course, Shane Watson making his way home. Now, of course, they're not going to be available for all of the games, but even with that limited uh, access that we have to them, just how much does that have an impact to the team, and I guess especially the younger guys? Uh, when they're around, they're good, and when they're not around, as Wolf said, we replace them. We, we left a fast bowler off the list that coach has said. Cameron Gavin's in pretty good form at the moment, bowls, bowls pretty good speed as well. We've got some fast bowling stocks here, and, and they're all going to be on show at some stage during this tournament. You've played cricket uh, at so many different levels for so long. You know, in terms of points on cricket, you're a bit of a household name. Removing the traditionalist from you and looking at what we had last year in the Big Bash League for the first time, what struck you uh, as being the, you know, the, the great attraction to the game? Was it uh, just the, the sheer level of entertainment that, that is there on top of uh, you know, the, the action on the field? Is, is that what it is that takes it to the next level, do you think? Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a show. It's got to be, like it has to be promoted as a show, I think. It, it's, yes, there's a game of cricket in the middle, but it's all about what's happening off the field and around the ground. And if, if the teams can all nail that, side of it. Well, great crowds are going to come regardless. It's it's a perfect size, like eight games of eight games are we playing that's great. Um, is is perfect. It's not too many. Like we've only got four games at home. So so the Brisbane public know that they've got four nights where they can get to the gap and watch the Brisbane people play and yes Shane Wilson's gonna be playing on the night, Star Stay gonna be playing on the night. So so it's not like their their average cricket is running around. We're talking about best players in the world here and, and Australia's got it right. I think the Indians saturated a little bit too much, but um, but I think we've got the right size tournament. And that first game, of course, is uh, December nine. It's a Sunday afternoon. I believe it's a slightly early start. Hopefully, we can't wait to see you uh, packing up for Queensland. <laughs> Brisbane, Brisbane Heat, Ladies and gentlemen, James Hopes out. <laughs>